Um, you know, I'm, we got off to a great start. I'm thrilled how we got out of the gate uh, and built the lead. Uh, I had every reason to believe State would make a run today. I thought they'd showed great fight and character. Obviously, they've had a lot going on the last 48 hours. But I'm also proud that we were poised enough to kind of hold them off and uh, get our 10th league win. 10 league wins in this league this year is something to be really proud of. Last three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Tom. It's been it's been really powerful, you know. Um, winning records in this in this league. Three of the four years we've been in it. Certainly, as you know, we posted a lot of winning records in the Big East. We've been really consistent doing that. That's how we played our way into NSA tournament bids very regularly. Handling regular season league play well, whether it's the Big East or the ACC. Mike, how do you prepare your team for a game like this where you've got unusual circumstances? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to them very openly, and I said, you know, fellas, I think we're going to get their Duke effort tonight. You know, uh, um, the, you know there's, there's no more speculation. They'll rally a little bit, I think. Um, you know, Mark is a good friend. A lot of respect for him. He's a really good coach. Uh, he'll probably have, he probably has a couple job offers by now. But for him to stay with this group, and finish with them. It just kind of tells you the kind of guy he is. And don't be surprised if, you know, they do some things interesting here in the regular season, especially in Brooklyn. Yeah, V was, uh, you know, he was feeling it, man. And he's really been on a good roll for us. I think the closer it gets to March, the better he plays, because we know he's pretty darn good in March. Last year he was off the charts in March. Big gap. Mike, in the three-point shooting. Yeah. Uh, was it your defense or did their shots I, stop? You know, I think you got to give some credit to our defense. One of the things we've tried to do with no matter who we play is really chase people off the arc. And I felt, you know, again, I reiterated at halftime, the really the, the way they get back in it and maybe beat us if, if they make a number of three-point shots. Yeah, they were scoring in the second half, but they were twos. And we're so efficient on the offensive end, and we make free throws, it's kind of hard to catch us. But if you give up threes, now the whole thing changes. So we were uh, really good at BC the other night, chasing them off the line, and chasing the state shooters off the line helped us tonight, gave us enough of a gap to finish. You coach some teams that weren't great for free throw shooting teams. How much comfort do you have with a lead in, in this kind of turnout? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, when we're so confident when we get to the line. It's been an amazing weapon. Um, it really has. You know, one of the things our guys have talked about is breaking the ACC records, which is NC State, State's record in 2004, and the national record is 82. Harvard, I think, in 85 or 86. And, you know, those guys, our guys talk about, you know, trying to get both those records, uh, uh, both those free throw records. Mike, there's a lot of discussion about the state job. You have to compete with Carolina, you have to compete yeah. with Duke. But, like, you have to compete with Carolina and Duke. Sure. But having been here, is it different than the rest of the ACC? I mean, you guys have to deal with them, too. I think it's a great job. You know, I think the North Carolina State job is a great coaching job. It's committed to basketball. Um, you know, I, I think the kids that come here get excited because they, they get to bang heads with Duke and Car Carolina regularly. There's that, in, that, that competition that's always here in the triangle that I lived through for, for eight years and saw it up close. Um, you know, certainly the, guy, the guys in Durham and Chapel Hill, you know, uh, they got their fiefdoms or what, whatever you want to call kingdoms or whatever, but uh, states – you know, always, uh, I think, always been a heck of a coaching job. I'm sure they're going to get some, uh, you know, more, they can get Morgan Wooten this year. They, <laughs> I, I, I talked to Coach Wooten, and he turned him down. What was that, 80? Did he turn him down in 80, was it? Was it 80, I think, when Jimmy V took it, right? Jimmy V took He turned him down. I talked to him. I think you guys can get him this year. <laughs> Do you kind of chuckle, though, when you hear people say, well, they have to compete against Duke and Carolina? Like, like Luke just yeah, said, you, don't you have to yeah, we, we. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, – you know, when states had it rolling, and they've had it rolling more than not in this program, the history of this program, you know, they've, com they've competed, you know, they've gotten, they've always had a great talent base. I've always been impressed with their talent. They've got good, I think they've got really good players. You know, the, there's an interesting difference between two teams today. We only play one guy who's a first-year player in our program. They play, what, six, seven? It, it, that's, that's impossible. I wouldn't know what to do if I had six new guys. I mean, we've had a nice rhythm to our roster with older guys. And, you know, we played like we play like we played together for a while because we have. It is really hard 
and 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 then they had you know the Turkish kids sat out and you know, that's a, that's a, and then and then you got to deal with this league this year. Ooh, it's hard, man. Thanks, guys.